In this video, we will be converting the Brindley box scraper into a rear blade. Note, these steps can be applied to both the 38 inch and 42 inch models of the Brindley box scraper and rear blade combo attachment. Tools required. You will need a 9 16 inch wrench and a mallet or hammer. We will be starting with a fully assembled 42 inch Brindley box scraper. Step one, removing the Scarfire bar. First, remove the linchpins from the ends of the Scarfire bar and then carefully slide the ends back out of the slots on the end of the side pieces. Step two, removing the side plates. Using a 9 16 inch wrench, Unscrew the hex nuts from the ends of the carriage bolts connecting the two side plates at the four corners of the blade. Remove the lock washer and flat washer from each bolt and be sure to keep all of the hardware together. Note: You may need to tap the carriage bolts with a hammer or mallet at this stage to get them out of the holes. Use caution when removing the bolts. And when the side plates are released, set them aside with your hardware and Scarfire bar. When hooked up to a sleeve hitch, this piece can be rotated into six different positions. 30 degrees left or right for pushing material off to the side, as well as 180 degrees for pushing instead of pulling, and 150 or 210 degrees for pushing material off to the side. Step three, removing the weight tray. You may also want to remove the weight tray when using the piece as a plow blade. Using a 9 16 inch wrench, loosen the two hex nuts on the carriage bolts connecting the tray to the bottom of the blade. Be sure to replace the carriage bolts attaching the blade mount plate to the bottom of the blade. After sliding the bolts back through the blade and blade mount plate, add the lock washer, hex nut, and tighten with the 9 16 inch socket wrench. And now your Brindley box scraper has been turned into a rear blade. Now we'll show you how to turn the rear blade back into a box scraper. Step four, replacing the weight tray. If the weight tray was removed, align the holes in the blade and the blade mount plate and you may need to slightly loosen the nuts at the top of the blade mount plate to ensure the blade mount plate and the blade are flush at the bottom before adding the weight tray. Pass the carriage bolts through the blade, the blade mount plate, and the ends of the weight tray, and add the lock washers and hex nuts to the ends of the bolts. Then securely tighten all four bolts connecting the blade to the blade mount plate using the 9 16 inch wrench. Step five, adding the side plates. Align the side plates with the holes in the corners of the blade, and from the inside, slide the two carriage bolts back through both pieces, and add the flat washer and lock washer back to each bolt. Then, loosely place the hex bolts back in place, but do not fully tighten just yet. Note, you may need to tap the carriage bolts with a hammer or mallet in order to get the carriage bolts to pass through the blade and the side plate. Step six, adding the Scarfire bar. To reinstall the Scarfire bar, first, make sure the teeth are pointing down and facing forward. Slide the bar ends back through the slots of the side plates and secure them in place by sliding the two linch pins through the ends of the bars and flipping the pin lock down to keep it in place. Now, using the 9 16 inch wrench, Tighten all of the hex nuts to secure the side plates in place. And now your plow blade has been turned back into a Brindley box scraper. Maintenance and operational tips. Tip one, you may want to lubricate the pivot points and hitch pin with a drop or two of 30 weight oil before each operation. Tip two, after eight or more hours of operation, Go back with your 9 16 inch wrench and make sure all of the bolts are tight. Tip three, you can also apply a coat of grease, oil, or rust preventable to the blade edge, 
Scarifier, and other areas that may have scoured from operation. Tip 4. After the blade edge has worn considerably, you can rotate it 180 degrees to provide a new edge by removing the four carriage bolts from the blade mount plate, rotating the blade from bottom to top, and reassembling the blade to the mount with the new edge on the surface. For replacement parts or questions, call Brindley Customer Service at 877-728-8224. Brindley, 